Thanks for checking out Bald Eagle Garage. Today, we're in the back of my truck. I wanna make this space into a camper. Well, not really a camper, but just a platform. And we'll see where it goes from here. I kinda got a plan. So, let's start cutting some wood. Whoa, 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 hold on. We're not gonna start cutting stuff yet. This is the model I made here in SolidWorks. I'm gonna show you my plan. So what we have here is uh, just a platform modeled inside the bed. Those dimensions are correct. You can see on the side here, I have a shelf and another one along the back. And on the other side, I have two shelves. And I left a space for the tire for now. And this side right here, it just rests right on top of the wheel well itself. I want to get the platform as low as possible. And this is how I'm going to kind of stiffen it up a little bit by just putting these boards in there. Now, the reason that they're going sideways like this is because I'm trying to maximize the amount of room uh, for something that can fit underneath. I know they're stronger the other way, but I don't really think... Uh, I need all of the strength of the 2x4 that direction, so I'm going to put them this direction. So this build here is just going to be something that's super quick. Uh, this just took me a few minutes to model up, and I'm hoping to just get her knocked out here in a couple hours uh, with filming. And, you know, this is a quick one and done. Just something fast to get me out on the road, because I'm leaving tomorrow morning to go on a camping trip so it just needs to be functional it doesn't need to be pretty and this will just be the first of I don't know how many renditions I'll do but I will I'm just gonna go out there and try it and see what I like and what I don't like and then you know change it on my next version so you should stick around for that make sure you subscribe for updates and make sure to like this video So this is the half inch plywood that I got off of Craigslist. It was free, it was right down the street. It didn't cost me anything to go get it. And you know, you just gotta use what you got. You don't need to go out there and buy a brand new sheet. So on this piece, this corner over here is damaged and that corner is damaged. So I'm gonna use uh, the other portion of this board.
last part here, I just cut some two by fours to length and I'm just gonna put them in here for the legs. I did run out of light, but all I did right here was screw them together and voila, it's done. Well, I'm all back from my first camping trip with the platform and it did pretty good. So here's the finished product. Got some shelves going on here. This is just free wood that I had laying around. I did buy a two by two. I had that in my garage. So I used one full two by two. She did okay. This isn't very sturdy. So we'll figure something out there. Uh, it did leak. The topper does leak, which sucks. Uh, but I had a nice foam pad and then my sleeping bag. I did not get wet while sleeping. This happened while driving in the rain so I put a tarp over the topper so it stayed dry in here while I was sleeping that was just from the way back so that kind of sucks I'm gonna have to seal that wood but it's, I got it all cleaned out I just wanted to go over a few thoughts I feel like this is a good height but uh, for me um, it sucked not having enough headroom to sit up in bed So it'd be nice if my topper was up a couple more inches or this was lower a couple more inches but if It was lower. I would have even reduced amount of space down here Although you know if I did lower this and I had a drawer in here that pulled out You know those drawers don't have to be super high as long as you can access everything from the back all the way up front, it would be useful that way. Uh, I did feel like I could narrow it about three or four inches and be just fine. Tires gotta go. That's taking up valuable space in here. So we'll figure something out for that. Uh, and I wanna add another shelf in the back, maybe a couple of them up high, maybe like a netting. That'd be kind of cool. These were these were very useful. I felt like the height was good. Just random stuff just got put on there, and that's exactly what it was for. Uh, coming in and out, like you know, you put your, your your toiletries somewhere. You can put your wet gloves somewhere. You know, your boots under there. That's how I had it. Uh, flashlights, you know, maybe a handgun and whatever. All your keys and wallets and stuff up out of the way so you can't knock it over when you're sleeping sunglasses hats whatever so it was very useful just coming in and out and just putting something somewhere and not having it in the way but for for how much this costs and how quickly I was able to do it it, it you know it gets a thumbs up for me it's it's better than what my what i had before which was just the mattress on the on the floor here and everything just kind of piled up around it and it just became a huge mess so with this and a dedicated walkway it was easy to come in and out um but more shelves and maybe like something that i can hook like my backpack up on so it's up and out of the way but no, nothing like that's gonna happen until this topper is sealed. So I'm gonna have to go through all the windows and seal them. And if I just if that just isn't working for me, then I'm just gonna have to sell it and get a different one. What I really like about this one is how nice it looks on the truck. You know, it flows with the lines and everything. But a couple more inches up top would be would be superb so we'll see what happens with that but overall it was a successful weekend and now this platform can easily just come right out just pull her away from the wall a little bit it's gonna catch on that we need two hands but so it'll come right out I'll set it out here in the Sun it'll dry out and then for my next camping trip it'll be ready to go get it all sealed up 
I'll probably swap this carpet out for a marine grade carpet. Like this was free, but you know, if if I wasn't able to dry this out, it would start to stink and that would be bad. Last thing you want is some stinky stuff where you're sleeping. So Yeah, I don't know what else to say really. What I had under here is my canopy my folding chair some tools floor jack which is not coming with next time i'm going to get a couple bottle jacks so if i need to change a tire i can do, use those but i think a drawer system would be optimal so you can use all the space uh, my chainsaw did not fit under here unfortunately my stove was under there. My grill wasn't able to fit. I could probably modify that to make it fit. But overall, it was a success. And you know, that's what you need to do. You just need to just make a decision and just build something. Even if you know you're gonna change it later, just, just do it and go out there, you know, for a weekend and try it out. And then come back with actual plans and ideas that were gonna work best for you so my setup may not be the best for yours and someone else's setup may not be the best for you and or me or whatever so you just need to go out there and, and try it out use what you got it doesn't have to be pretty you know just make it functional and save money doing it see what you can say this is just a half inch plywood I got off Craigslist for free and it doesn't have to be nice you know and I'll still use it it was definitely supportive enough for me and my dog my dog's 70 pounds and I'm 180 so the support of both of us fine it didn't flex at all it was it held up great I don't I don't think you need three quarter inch thick plywood if you you know do all the ribs and stuff that I did I mean, you're gonna lose a little bit of height in there anyways, but even with three quarter inch plywood, I think you're gonna want some sort of support going across there. Yeah, so overall it worked dang good for the amount of time and money I invested into this. So it took, you know, a couple hours to build and plan, and that's with filming, and money was, hardly anything so I, like I just can't complain about this setup it just worked great for what I have invested in it so all right have fun out there camping and uh hopefully this gives you some ideas for a setup for yourself so go out there and just try it later